Hi, my name is Mike. Thanks for joining me today on my channel, Technically Church, where I share over 20 years of experience in audio, video, lighting, and multimedia. You can always find out more on my website at technicallychurch.com. Let's jump in. All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Multitracks playback with the Behringer Wing and transport everything over Dante Audio. So let's get started. So on the Behringer Wing, I do have a Dante card installed, which gives you 64 channels in and out of Dante. Now Multitracks playback does support Dante. So let's jump over to the computer for a second and I'll show you those settings. So on the computer, um, you do need Dante Virtual Sound Card. So I have Dante Virtual Sound Card installed here. That enables this computer to be on the Dante network. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure you route the computer and the wing together using Dante's um, controller. So once that is all set up, playback will see these settings. So if you go into settings of playback, you can see under audio device, I'm able to use the Dante virtual sound card. Now, if I go to buses, it allows you to patch all of your buses to one of Dante's channels. So you can see out of my um, 16 buses that they give me, I have everything patched, all of my different track buses to Dante. So if I were to play, I have This Is Our God by Phil Wickham loaded. You can see I have all these tracks. I'm going to individually have all these tracks available on the Dante network, not just one mix of each one. So I could go ahead and play that. And then on the Behringer wing, everything I would show up in Dante. So let's jump over to the Behringer Wing. All right, so if we go to routing on the Behringer Wing, and we go to sources, and I'm gonna change this to Dante In. So Dante In, uh, one through 32 channels on Dante In match what you just set up in playback. So I have channel one uh, mapped to my track drums channel. So I already have that labeled, and then I could patch that into my board. So I have all of those channels individually labeled. So what I uh, run here on this Behringer wing is I have access to, for instance, right now on the Behringer wing, I have my drums, track drums, my track percussion, my track loops channel, my track keys, electrics, acoustics, strings, pads, another electric channel, FX, and aux. So I have those all individually on this board and I can mix it however I want. I can decide, you know, today I don't have electric guitars so I can turn those tracks on. Tomorrow maybe I don't, uh, you know, do have electric guitars so I'm gonna turn those tracks off. So I have full control as a front of house engineer in this setup. Thanks for joining me today. Again, my name is Mike. You can always find out more on my website, technicallychurch.com or on my YouTube channel, Technically Church. Look forward to seeing you soon.